Um, I, I did your challenge seven years ago. So um, this is a complete shift. And seven years ago, you're right. I mean, you when you have a plan and you're, you're hyped up about it, it was it was my life. Um, and it worked during that time. Um, this is completely different. And at the first few weeks, I was really looking for that really fast weight loss and it wasn't happening. Um, but it, it, it is slowly still happening and I'm able to enjoy things and go out with my family and friends and not be completely stressed out. And it's still working. It's slower, but my goals are different than they were um, back then. And um, it's been really easy and I've actually enjoyed it. And uh, your workouts are fun and I like the heavier weights and we have been sweating our rear ends off and we love it every day easier than I thought it would and um, just to incorporate it into life and, and just go on and I don't stress about food every day. And that's really yeah. nice. Got it. Yes. Okay. Um, yeah. it, it, so I have done, I think your six week challenge before and, you know, which was great because everything, you know, similar to what Amy said, it came off immediately. It was so wonderful that it was just reassuring. And this one is slower, but I feel like I don't really, it's not a big reach for me. Like I try to eat healthy. So, you know, it's just, and the workouts are fun and I like the weights incorporated. Um, so, you know, yeah, I like seeing the muscle definition. So that's what I'm looking for. So this is totally in line with where I am right now. So it's like, it's good for me. And it doesn't feel like I'm depriving myself, which is important. So I don't have to, I can get chocolate occasionally. And so, you know, and then every 10 days or the weekend have a little something that you know, is an ideal. Yeah. Um, but yeah. And then I can see the effects. Like when I do eat poorly, I mean, when I'm having that meal, I'm like, I'm about to go to sleep like two seconds later and I just feel lethargic. So yes. I'm really trying to be on that, you know, kind of vibe anymore. So yeah. I also am a former challenger. And let me tell you, sometimes the thought of fish still. <laughs> um, <laughs> tilapia. But, Let's go uh, get some yeah. today. Let's have a tilapia. <laughs> let's go have a tilapia fry fish. <laughs> That's not. Um, but <laughs> this has been a lot different. I mean, I even had a coworker. She was like, you can have bread. Like, I thought you were on a weight loss challenge. Um, but I feel like all of us have been so conditioned to carbs are bad, carbs are bad, carbs are bad, that this has been a refreshing uh, plan, I guess I want to say. Um, and also, I love your workouts. I think... Hey. Um, Thursday with Jason, we were like, holy mo It was like we had a faucet on. We were drippy. I mean, it was great. But yeah, we've really enjoyed it. Hi. Hi. Um, yeah. So I do want to share about, take it back to the very beginning of this challenge and talk about um, what it meant to come up with a vision for ourselves and come up with the attributes that we wanted to see in ourselves and how we wanted to, I don't know, kind of come up with a motto of who we were in the in the sphere of health. And I um, actually, I'm in counseling for other things, but I talked to my counselor about this because it's similar to what she's having me do with just my life and different changes that I've had in my, in my personal life and um, how we create this baseline for what we want to become and and I think that that's very much what this thought process so more of the mental and emotional work behind how we make those choices and does what I'm about to eat or my meal prep or how my attitude is when I go into a workout how does that align with who I want to be and who I want to become and how does that align like I think that we are always becoming and so like even the journey from previous challenges, which I think a lot of us have done, and the journey that we've gone through with you as this kind of morphs into a lifestyle rather than a six week, one and done kind of thing. So um, going back to those values, my boyfriend was like, your motto should be I candy Kate. <laughs> like, does this make I candy Kate? Does this align with that? And so anyway, we um, it's been good conversation outside of just um this health journey so i think it applies to so many other things in our life and i am grateful to have joined the challenge and probably could have done better on my part but i think it's also having grace for when things are tough like understanding that it's not the end of the world and i think for me that was a big mindset shift is 
that I don't get so down on myself when something doesn't go exactly perfect. Like I can pick myself back up and get back on track immediately or not be like, well, it's metabolizing, metabolizing, boosting week now. Good morning. Hey. Um, so I've done your challenge twice um, and I wrote my kids in with it too. So I've wrote them in with this as well. Uh, I'm the one that started out the first week that we started, I was at uh, scout camp. <laughs> so I didn't get a chance to do all the things according to plan, but I will tell you that I got a lot of steps in and I did my best on eating uh, and doing the portions. And this is the first time that I have focused more on the going to sleep regularly because uh, I have sleep issues right now. I'm getting ready to do a sleep clinic on the 26th for potential sleep apnea. Um, and I also got diagnosed with high blood pressure. So I've seen a difference in this entire process. So this is the first time I focused more on going to sleep regularly, trying to fix that in the food portion of it. And um, even though I'm used to that rapid weight loss, like everybody else talked about, um, I've still lost seven pounds altogether in the eight weeks. Beautiful. Um, and I jacked my back up a little bit ago. So it's been more about the eating uh, and the sugar. So I cut out sugar. I haven't had anything to drink because I know that's kind of the staple of the old program that I knew worked. So cutting out the sodas, cutting out the sugar, not having any of wine or anything else like that and making sure that I'm going to bed and the portion control. And it has been, it's been relieving for me stressfully because I do so much with my kids. In fact, I'm about ready to go pick one of them up from a birthday party. That was a sleepover. Um, but it was interesting trying to always take my containers with me and eat the things and find a microwave and it was i told you before like i'm i'm dealing with the whole um stress situation and anxiety and not having to worry about that but knowing that i'm still going to be able to eat something that is still going to help me lose the weight and feel better and also increase my energy waking up the next day has been absolutely amazing and my kids have been paying attention to it too uh so we've all been doing the portion control which that in itself makes this all worth it. I like that it was 85%. With everything else, it's 100%. I'm yeah. not 100%. Life is not 100%. And to be able to have it be 85 and at the end of the day, I'm like, done. That's okay. The other thing too that I, I like is that you realize that, or I guess you always know, but to see that it's not just a straight line. And whether, you know, you're doing 100%, 80%, you've got, you know, the line, but it's constantly going in the right direction, even though, you know, you, you see the peaks and valleys, but you're in control of those peaks and valleys. Yeah. I just want to say thank you. Uh, oh. I appreciate your work and, you know, it really helps me. And so I really am appreciative of all hey. your and your team. Mm -hmm.